on the Health Watch now. There are new guidelines for the most common emergency surgical procedures here in the U.S. The American College of Surgeons says there is now a treatment that would help patients avoid surgery for appendicitis. CBS 4's Elise Preston has details. Five years ago, Heather Van Dusen ended up in the emergency room at University of Washington Medical Center. I was in a really terrible pain, more pain than I had ever really felt with stomach issues before. Um, so much so that I wanted to uh, uh, vomit. The diagnosis, appendicitis, which typically meant urgent surgery to remove the infected or inflamed appendix. Now, the latest research has led the American College of Surgeons to say antibiotics can be a first-line treatment for many patients. If you have appendicitis and present to the emergency department, the, you have treatment options from surgery or for antibiotics. Dr. Gianna Davidson of UW Medicine is a co-author on the largest ever randomized clinical trial of appendicitis treatment. 1,500 patients received either an appendectomy or antibiotics. In the first three months, nearly 7 in 10 patients in the antibiotic group avoided surgery. Four years out, just under half of patients in the antibiotic group had surgery. Researchers have created this online tool to help patients and surgeons discuss the pros and cons of each approach based on the current data. We're hoping that helps empower people to have discussions with their surgeons about the treatment option that makes the most sense for them at that moment. Heather chose antibiotics over an appendectomy. They didn't make me feel the greatest. I was really tired. It had like a weird metallic taste. But after I finished the course of antibiotics, fine. I'm like, my life went back to normal. I have not had another episode. She avoided surgery and is grateful she was able to make an informed decision about her health. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. The UW clinical trial did not include children, but researchers say other studies are looking at whether antibiotics could work for pediatric patients.